Welcome to the Kicking Back with Christ in the Basement Real Talk Broadcast with your host, Lady VLB and Dr. Vicki Lee. This program will inspire, encourage, and empower. So here they are. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. And be glad in it. it. Oh, my God. I'm so excited today. We have some powerful men up yes. in this house. Hallelujah. I mean, they are anointed. They are appointed. They cast out devils. And by God. And called by God. All right. Bible told me. <laughs> demon casting out. Yes. I ain't pl- they ain't playing. They, they hardcore. Ain't playing. Yes. You know, they done been through some things. Hmm. Meaning that they're just not, you know, in somebody just. In the trenches. Just, no. Yeah, in yeah. the they, streets. They got their boots. They, they, they got their boots. To the ground. Planet. That's right. To the That's ground. right. That's right. <laughs> and I'm so excited about about it you know uh, yes ooh, well Jesus. i am pastor venus vlb and i am dr vicky, vicky lee, lee. The hallelujah in the house ooh, glory and we God. have a thank s- you jesus a special guest guest with two. an s yes. two two and as we just um i'm going to start w- off with brother jesse okay you know i remember when i first met him and he came to the ministerial training center and I said, hello there. And we hug and all that good stuff. And I said, well, I'm going to give you a mic. He looked at me like, you giving me the mic? <laughs> but that's what we do up in here. You know, Amen. when we have our ministerial training center, I give people the mic and let them exercise their gifts and let the gifts come out and the talents. So I want to, first of all, welcome you to this broadcast. Brother Taking Jesse. back with Christ. And, and you know, maybe you could just tell us a little bit about you, who you are, how do you, whatever in your heart, whatever you want to say. Amen. Woo, 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 Amen. Woo. This mic is a little... Gets me a little shy, but I really... It's only 50,000 people. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do it great. Okay. <laughs> but I, I just really would like to thank the Lord. Yes. For giving me that peace and giving me that... Come up a little bit. That... that uh, there you go. That wonderful life that... Uh, yes. I never thought I could have. Amen. And he just brought when up... When you say that wonderful life, what does that mean? Uh, you just told me something a little it's earlier. A cleansing. It's a cleansing. <laughs> you just told me something. This is real talk radio, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Tell your kids to get mm-hmm. out of the room. Because oh, he may say something that, anyway, curl your hair. Oh. But uh, <laughs> he's been through a lot. Tell us a little bit what you've been through. You just Amen. said it. Oh, you don't have yeah. to say it all now. Just keep it clean. Well, keep that would be no drugs. <laughs> okay. No booze. Okay. Amen. No, no, no women. There you go. That, you know. Amen. Can lead you the wrong way. Amen. Amen. So you're a changed man. Yeah, he's um, changed my life. And you know it's amazing because when I look at you and I look into your eyes, I see Jesus. Jesus. And you know that's one of the mm-hmm. traits of a believer. You know, you meet so many people and so many saints that are ain't, and then but those true believers, you look at them and you connect. And you can see. You know it. what you I'm talking about? Because you know, before I'm sure you, we probably wouldn't have hung out together. And I don't know <laughs> if you was a lowrider or not, or. I was a. Oh, I, I was a, so many phases. I don't know, but like forty years of, of yes, Satan. Yeah, yeah. It was wow. terrible, you know. Yes, all yes. All street and gang. Uh huh. So it was just craziness. Right, you know? right. But you saved today, and that's what the body of Christ does. Amen. God bring people together that you would never even think He would put mm-hmm. together, and that's what yes. makes it so beautiful mm-hmm. and so marvelous. Now, do mm-hmm. you have any little thing before we go on that you want to just let our radio audience know? Yeah, I experienced the. The New Year's. Okay. And uh, I woke up and uh, I had the heater on. Uh Uh-oh. And uh, I was on the couch. And I was just in button fly jeans, no socks, you know, right after I had my my New Year's night out. Okay. And I woke up and uh, I was just in my jeans, no shirt, just uh, woke up and I was clean shaved. Wow. And... uh, I still smelt like cologne, mm-hmm. and uh, I woke up refreshed on the New Year's New Year's Day. You know, wow! wow. And uh, no, no, uh, just clean. Yes, you've never been the same. And, you know, How many years has that been? Oh shoot! Ooh. Oh, you mean to tell me? So you telling me Jesus can keep you then? Yeah, He's kept me. I was uh, probably I've been about twenty years not partying. Uh huh. Wow. Sixteen or twenty, so long I forget. Wow. That is so, so amazing. So somebody just, on the uh, okay. Lord has been with me for about seven. Yeah. So right now, somebody may be on the other side of the radio. What would you say to them? An encouraging word that he did it for you. Now talk to somebody. Take about two minutes and tell them. Right. Talk to that audience person. Amen. You, you gotta cut the. You gotta cut the apron strings with the with the world. 
Amen. Yeah, because those apron strings, they'll bring you to the bottom of the, the bottom of the pit every yes. time. Amen. Yes. So it's weird in the beginning for me. It was uh, Christians are. <laughs> They're wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> they are. Wow. But they're the exact opposite of the world. Yeah. Amen. And when you come from the world, it's like, oh, you see the light. Uh huh. And when you're in that light, you experience the Holy Spirit. Wow. And then he'll take over. Amen. But the enemy keeps keeps on battling you. Amen. So, so what do you say? What would you say? We're gonna close out this part. What would you say to them? What would you say that helped you call on the name of the Lord, get in your Bible, talk to your pastor? Yeah. What would you say as a closing encouraging, remark to encouraging someone word. on the other mm -hmm. side of the radio? The hardest thing was to surrender. Surrender. Oh, that that's powerful. The hardest thing was Ooh, to surrender. Oh, good answer. So you yes. the maturity, surrender. The maturity yes. kicked in we'll and grow. Then read. Wow. I, wow. If you're on the beach, if you're by wow. yourself, wow. always have something to read. If it's on your <laughs> phone, if it's, you know, any oh, little time you yeah. get. Now read, read uh, Low Ride Magazine, read a, read what? No, read his word. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you. Yeah, thank you amen. so much. Amen. The, the word. healing will come. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much for taking that time. Amen. And now, you amen. know, it really blesses me. Um, you want to introduce the next thing? You really no, you no, know. No, come ahead. on. Oh, powerful I mean, man powerful. of God. And um, I have so much I can say. Yes. I mean, when I first met Pastor Robert, you know, I mean, just like you were saying, Dr. Lee, it's the fire. Yes. And the eyes that, you yeah. know, that yeah, he was a men. change. Yeah, He's a, man. a change man. You know, yeah, to because see if I men. seen Pastor Robert on the streets, <laughs> I would have been like, nah. Right. <laughs> you know, right. yeah, you know, big bro. How do they say bro, child? Bro you know, child. and you have the hardness of uh, just the heart mm. core. You know, and so those kind of when guys, you look at you him on the just, outside, yeah, move yeah. on the outside. Are, but then yeah. when I looked in his eyes, that's something about I seen Jesus. the fire. Oh, the windows God. to their soul. Yes. yes. Oh my God, and he's just a loving yes. and, and just, just so. Yes. Oh, yeah. and he's a walking Bible, you guys oh out there. My oh my God, God this man the knows the word. Yes, that's the thing. That's mm -hmm. what sustains him. Amen. And it just really blesses Amen. us. So yes. I just want to welcome. Um, I almost said Doctor Robert. You better watch Ooh. me when I start Whoa. saying. <laughs> you better watch it because I'll be prof Amen. prophesying that things be coming to pass. Right. Anyway, yes. Pastor yes. Robert. Amen. I know. No, just say a little. Give the Lord a praise. Amen. Give the Lord a praise. Yes. Now I know Thank you, you got your ministry. And mm -hmm. you got a lot going on, but just kind of introduce yourself and tell your audience who you are. Yes. Amen. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, my name is Robert Monson Jr. And um, I've been born again. You know, God's done some great things in my life and um, he's doing great things in my life right now. And I didn't understand what my calling was, but, um, you know, like they say, you know, just do what God's called you to do Amen. and you'll find out what your what your calling is. Amen. Amen. And yeah. And you know what? I'm so grateful for Seats of Value. It's allowed Thank me to you, express you know, just to go forward, you know, just to, to step out in faith and, yes. and, 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 you know, just exercise your gifts, just like this ministry says, you know, just go out there and, and do what God's called you to do and, and that others will be touched by, amen. by, by your yes. faith and your yes. walk. Amen. 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 You know what I love about him? He's, you know, like I said, you meet men. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and you know, sometimes you'll meet a man, but really it's a little boy inside. Mm -hmm. And they still live in that little boy. Mm. But one thing I can say about Pastor Robert, because I don't see, you know, that many men. Mm. I mean, I see a lot of men, mm. but a real man that can really stand and stand on that gospel. You know, mm. right. you're one of our pastors. Um, mm -hmm. You came through the training center. You went through the classes. You did what you needed to do. And today you are a pastor. And we're yes. believing God that he'll be Thank on our Lord. staff pastor. Yes. But see, he'll go the extra mile. You know what I mean? And he's just a man, a gentleman, a man. Amen. Man. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Yes. Men, I am vouch we don't to that. see yes. men. If you yes, know what yes. I'm saying. So when you see a godly man, it's like, wow. It's just so, you know, you, really you go, like, you go, like yeah. you go on a bus, you know, you sitting down and then the man sitting down, he ain't gonna get up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, are you go somewhere in church? They don't care about what you're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. You might need mm -hmm. some help, some fall or, you know, just anything, you know, mm -hmm. and not being that gentleman. Right. And, and mm -hmm. I just thank God. For and I know real, that in pastor, I, see, I mean, I see that in pastor, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, and, pastor Robert, he does. Do and that. see, he was a man in the world too. See, he didn't take nothing when he was out there either. He was, you no. know what I'm talking but we about. Gonna 
let he was down. But anyway, <laughs> I could tell. Lord. I could tell. So just yeah. as hard mm-hmm. as like when I was mm-hmm. in the world, you know, mm-hmm. just as hard as I was in the world, I had my little thirty-eight caliber sawed-off mm-hmm. shotgun, trying to be a little gangster, you mm-hmm. know, doing the cocaine, doing the whatever, uh, right. all this stuff, mm-hmm. and you know, carrying uh, safes in the house, and mm-hmm. you know, just being Amen. high roller, you know, had yes. a little mafia boyfriend, half John, uh, what is it, German, German and yes. black, mm-hmm. and they was crazy. We were mm-hmm. free base all night, and I was out there, and I would play with you because I had mm-hmm. a shoulder host. Right. So I was ready for you, right. but. When I got saved, that's how I am now. I'm 100 mm. in, in the God. Lord, yes. I ain't trying yes. to be no. I'm just loving mm. God, yes. you know. And I'm and I and when people look at me, say, "Oh, she don't know nothing," but they don't know mm. I've been there, done that, and I know what you about to. Amen. I know what you about. <laughs> Yes. But see, you don't see Amen. and I no residue. Mm-hmm. You know, don't look like all what I've been through, free basing mm-hmm. all night and mm-hmm. doing all this stuff, selling coke and I've been pulled over by mm-hmm. the police and, yes. you know, never went to prison. Thank you, Jesus. But that's that praying grandma. Yes. But, you know, they don't know what I look like. Oh, look at Pastor Vicky. She's so, mm-hmm. you know, but they just don't know, mm-hmm. you know. But so just like you, you know, you you just transform. Yes. You that's just the out worst. there. You out there for Jesus, mm-hmm. kicking it hard for yes. God and, yes. being, and going out and getting other men, you know. Mm-hmm. I know the, all of that. So let me give you some time. <laughs> You're going to get some time because I'm up here. Preach, yeah. <laughs> But, I, you know, I know. I want, I want you choir. to hear your heart. If yes. you want to tell a little about your testimony because it is mm-hmm. very powerful. We're going to do He can start it. You only got two minutes. We're going to take a break. But just mm-hmm. give a, a little introduction about your testimony. Amen. Then we'll mm-hmm. come back and then you just do whatever God tells you after that. So you got yes. two minutes. Talk to us. Talk to the people. Well, the thing is that, um, you know, I, I, where I came from, uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I never woke up one day and said, you know what? I want to be a Christian today. Amen. You know, I never woke up and even had a dream saying, you know what? I want to get saved today. No, it, was, it didn't happen to me like that. My life was, it just, I don't know. It was, it's crazy. You know, it's, if I really talk about it, it's, it's hard to explain, but I just want to say that it was a miracle that happened to me. And, uh, and what I went through is, um, if I could turn it back, you know, I would, I would think about doing it a different way, but you know what? This is the way that God wanted it. And this is where he has me today. And I'm grateful. Uh, because if I wouldn't experience what I did, I wouldn't be the man of God that I am today and, and, and be able to speak it life into people and to be, you know, give them hope that there is an opportunity for people like you as well as the, where I was in the streets and, and living in my car and what have you, you know, it's, it's, it's just, uh, it's just what God wanted me to, to experience and I'm able to speak it into someone else's life today. Amen. Amen. Okay. You want to take a break? Take that break. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going right. to take a short pause and we'll be right back. Back. Right back. <laughs> You are empowered to do great things through God. My name is Pastor Matthew Blackwood, and you are listening to Kicking Back with Christ in the Basement, Real Talk Radio with Lady VLB and Dr. Vicki Lee. Hello, we're your hosts. I'm Lady VLB. And I'm Dr. Vicki Lee on ActiveReliance.com every first and third Thursday. Listen in to Kicking Back with Christ in the Basement, a raw and uncut Christian talk show from 7 to 7.30. You never know who would drop in. So keep your ears to the speaker. Welcome, my name is Pastor Nancy Alvarez, and you are listening to Kicking Back with Christ in the Basement, real talk radio with Lady VLB and Dr. Vicki Lee.
Welcome back. We're kicking back with Christ in the Basement. Real talk with BLB and Dr. Vicky. No yes. All right. All right. I'm we have some so, uh, powerhouses. Yes. In the house. I mean, you guys are just tuning in. Uh-huh. Uh, we have uh, Pastor... Robert as our yeah, guest and, and also um, yeah, brother, brother Jesse. Jesse. Oh my God, that's in the building. These are powerful men of God. Yes. I mean, you could look at them and you know, Amen. you know, if you didn't know they was <laughs> Christians, I think you would go the other way. Yeah. But once <laughs> they open their mouth and share the voice, you know, the love of Jesus. That's why I'm so powerful. Because God to take that kind of anointing and then just Amen. melt the heart of just and Amen. Amen. for real. And, and men, see, they men need to yes. see men. Amen. Anyway, I'm talking too much and no, I'm going to let my okay. guests talk. You know, and we just want to encourage you out there. You know, there is nothing impossible, you know, mm-hmm. in God. You know, nothing's impossible. Believe. And, you know, it says in the word of God in Mark. I think it's Mark. You can help me out, uh, mm-hmm. Pastor Robert. Is it Mark <laughs> 5, 27, mm. where it says believe? Is that is that yeah. correct? Uh, Mark 9, 23. Okay, well, only see, believe. Hey, only see, believe. Walking see, Bible. That's yeah. what I. That's what I said, you Don't guys out there. <laughs> Amen. It says only believe. Mm-hmm. You know, believe and trust in our Father. Trust in Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. That um, yes. nothing's impossible, and He can change. Okay. Yes. And I'm gonna turn it over to Pastor Robert mm-hmm. now. Um, let's talk a little bit about. Let's go deeper into mm-hmm. your testimony. What is it that God had saved you? From, you know, yeah. saved you from. Well, God delivered me from drugs, alcohol, porn. Pretty much what everybody kind of like shares, you know, uh, the street life. Amen. You know, um, I've been married for 32 years by the grace of God. What? Huh? That don't happen. Does that no. still happen? <laughs> Hello? That, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me clean my ears. Wait, was it three or, th- or two? <laughs> wow. No, that was 32. 32. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes, 32 by the grace of God. I mean, I married my high school sweetheart from school and uh, we moved in together. Her parents didn't want me to. Didn't want her to marry a total gangster that I was, you know, not so much of a gangster, but, you know, I was just, uh, you know, the you were my apparel. Was he a gangster? <laughs> was he a gangster? <laughs> come on, tell the truth. Well, Jesse, to, oh, tell oh, the oh, truth, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> tell the truth on the All devil. Right, you can come get in some anytime. Of that dirt of the trenches on. <laughs> <laughs> to keep it real, Pastor. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, my, 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 uh, my wife grew up in Staten, and she's, uh, you know, in the corners, the guys are hanging out. And when I started dating my wife, the parents said, no, you're going to marry one of those guys, you know, so there's no way. So one time she just, uh, I told her to pack your stuff, you know, just pack your stuff and, and we'll take off. We'll get our own apartment. And, and we did. You know, her parents thought she was pregnant. She wasn't pregnant. But, but anyways, we moved together, you know, lived together. And, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it's, it's good in a sense. But you know what? Uh, we we i didn't even i wasn't even saved and i knew that god didn't want us to live together like that and so i worked like two jobs to be able to to get to be able to get married you know to save mm-hmm. my money to get married but uh, i was still drinking i was still using uh rent an apartment for like nine years uh, my wife wouldn't mm-hmm. want to have kids she says no you're drunk you're an alcoholic you're, you're a drug addict uh, i'm not gonna have my kids being raised in the apartment and and by the grace of god i was able to we were able to get into a home in santana which we say we thought it never thought we would live because we, every time we went to santana it was just a, just gang banging and it was just the parties wow. i remember one time we were just uh, in a bar party in, in, in the f troop and we were just dancing and playing that song atomic dog right but then the oh, guns oh, within the guns dun, right dun, dun. i forgot <laughs> that beat <laughs> I don't know how it goes. yeah but so the time right? dog. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah the shooting started and everybody started running people getting run over it and we said we never live in santana but you know like they say never say never yes but that's part of my testimony. I mean, I got locked up uh, once, twice, three times. And um, the third time, I, I just walked out of my relationship and kind of almost left my wife for almost a year with my daughter, you know. And um, and I just went out and just hit the streets and thought that uh, God, th- I thought that something, you know, that uh, the global world had something to offer me. And it didn't, you know, it just brought shame. And I got busted on the third time. And um, that's when I left, you know, and I, I just didn't care. It was all about me and drugs, alcohol, money, women. It was, I thought it was all that, right? But Amen. you know what? It's not. And, and I just want to give you guys hope on that. You know, that, uh, you know, it, you know, it's like the woman in the well in John chapter four, right? She's Amen. searching, you know, and God, Jesus told her, well, hey, you know what? If you knew who was offering you the water, you would be asking him for, for the water, you know? And Jesus said, well, the water that I offer you is living water. Amen. So he went and told her to go out and call your husband and she says, well, I have no husband. Well, you know what? The husband that you have right now that you're living with, it's not even your husband. So, you know, a lot of people are looking for, for the meaning of life, and it's not that. You know, I did. I thought it was that. You know, money, drugs, women, whatever, but it wasn't. But anyways, I got uh, 
talking to my wife again and because I wanted to see my daughter and she says well you know you give me a, a, a paper from the court saying that you can that you're sober and you can come see your daughter and pick her up or whatever and I just I just didn't know how to stay sober you know I was always loaded I was always high and, um, and you know just to interject you know what would you tell that person or that young man or you know that guy that is out there that's struggling um, you know on drugs and you know maybe back and forth you know jail and you know the relationship their marriage relationship is going sour mm -hmm. and you know they don't feel like it's no way out what what kind of advice or you know word of encouragement you what would tell them hope yes hope something. yes well we know you know that it's uh, the hope is in christ and and you know jesus can set you free he can restore any marriage i believe that there's power in that amen you know there's nothing hard for for the lord you know uh, just like we shared earlier right mark 9 23 it says anything is possible for them who believes but you really have to believe you really have to believe in the power of god you have to really have to believe that he is creator and that he's savior of all mankind he can deliver anybody from any any addiction Amen. you know you, can, you know like i said you know i'm a walking uh I, you know what i experienced that and i know that there's power in, in jesus because he's the one that set Amen. me free and it's the want to you know like you were saying you gotta want it you know mm -hmm. and then god would do the rest you know oh yeah like uh jesse um uh, brother jesse was saying Submit. Oh, that was it's powerful. A, that it was so powerful. powerful. Submitting. Oh and once you submit to God, yes. you know, Words yes, and He you. will do the rest. Wow. Amen. Yes. I love that, Pastor. You know what? I see you have a, a ministry here, Manna for Today. Now, tell me a little bit about this. Now, you have a men's group. Can anybody come to the men's group? Or how does this work? You're out of Orange yeah. County. I know that. Yeah, I'm in Orange County. I kind of, uh, the study comes out of Anaheim. Out of Anaheim. Okay. But it's, uh, um, you know, I just I just want to disciple men, you know, to, to get them on the right track. You wow. know, I have a lot of guys right now that are, well, not a lot of them. My ministry is kind of small. Which is okay, though, because that's you know good. what? You're able to, yeah. on a one-on-one -on -one basis, Intimate. Yeah. you know? Yeah. So you and that's them. how Jesus did. You yeah. know, he broke them up in, what was it, 50s? Well, 70s, 70s, and then he went down and then his 12 disciples and, 12 and down disciples, to three. Yeah. So it just mm -hmm. depends, you mm -hmm. know, after you get so big, it do need to, you know, to be touchable. You know, right. you have so many Amen. people, you don't even know who they are. So that's definitely so a I blessing. Think that is so, mm -hmm. so Intimate. powerful powerful yes now if somebody was out there and they needed to be saved mm -hmm. what would you have to say to them and maybe lead them in a prayer then after that if somebody needs healing mm -hmm. uh pray for that also okay we have about four, four minutes, minutes. Oh my gosh. Mm. Well, time is going wow, wow 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 yeah well we have romans 10 9 reads if you confess with your mouth that jesus christ is lord and believe in your heart that god's raising from the dead you shall be saved you know you really have to believe that once you once you confess that once you say that you know you're going to be saved and, and there's power in that amen so amen, amen. so man you know uh, there's somebody out there so can we lead them into in prayer, a prayer yes. right now amen you know they i you know they heard your testimony and you know they're out there saying i'm tired of being tired of being tired so what would you how would you pray with them let's just have a word wow. of prayer amen you, please mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, so, so Father, we just want to thank you for this day, Father. And Lord, I pray for those who are battling these addictions, Father, in their marriage or, or Father, even have a drug and alcohol problem, Father. I pray that they would repeat after me, Father, that they would just say, Jesus, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Lord Jesus. Come into my life. Come into my restore life. Restore me. Restore me. And Father, set me free. And Father, set me free. From the powers of darkness. From the power of darkness. Lord, that you would be my God. That Lord, Lord, that you, you would be my God. And I would be your son or your daughter. And I will be your son or daughter. daughter. And Father, that you would manifest the Holy Spirit. And you will manifest the Holy Spirit. To do a miracle. To do a miracle. In my life. In my life. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 So if you prayed that prayer with yes. us, you can contact us at real talk yes real talk with vlb.com yes and Amen. if you would like to have pastor robert to come out and minister maybe in your men's group or in your church or even in schools he'd be great for schools going to them schools yes, talk to them yes. teenagers and oh, yeah. all that yeah. stuff he'd be great for that so if that's you out there and i'm telling you for the gospel he will come okay yes. because for jesus you know, I've seen it over and over, and he lifts up the name of Jesus. Now, we want to talk about healing. Uh, I don't know. Have you ever been healed? Anybody been healed before? Alcoholism, drug uh, abuse. Okay, All okay. Right. Why don't you just lead the prayer for uh, being healed? There's somebody out there that needs a healing. Look, this, there's somebody out there that needs a healing. Amen. 
God will bless you, but you cannot believe the lie, the lie of the enemy. And God will help you. You just got to surrender. And then another thing, when you fellowship in church, go in church, and if you don't like that one, go to another one. I went to several. And every one, I said, man, these people are whacked out. But the truth was, I was tore up from the floor up. And with that being said, there's only one way, mm -hmm. and that's his way. Wow. So stay in the light, and he'll bless you. Because if you listen to the lie, he's going to ruin your life. Yes. But if you listen to our Lord, you live forever. Amen. Wow. Amen. 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 So Amen. you just that was heard powerful. that power testimony. Yes. So right now, I'm just going to ask you to take a step of faith. Well, you may have a headache. You may have a, a chronic disease, whatever it is. You may want to lay your hand up on yourself. Yes. And right now, Father, I thank and I praise and I glorify you. Yes, By the God. stripes, we were healed. When yes. I think about Jesus, how he was beaten and bruised and his, his skin was ripped. Mm. 39 stripes just for us. Yes. So mm. be healed. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 So we are definitely wrapping it up right now. Huh? Yes. Yes. Any closing remarks? Remarks? Anybody? Any? Closing remarks. It takes a half a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. En enjoy the weekend. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the weekend. All right. Go to, to church. To God be the yes. glory. Get Amen. in some fellowship. Gather. Gather with Christians. Amen. 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 Do you have anything, Pastor Robert? Well, I, I want to say this is what I have the guys, you know, pretty much pray out. You know, before we even pray out, we say uh, Psalm 51, uh, 10 and 11. I All mean, right. 10 to 12. It says, yeah, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Yes. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Mm. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation and sustain me with a willing spirit. Wow. You know, we need to pray for that because, you know, like it, the Bible says, you know, our flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Wow. Just allow the Holy Spirit to touch your life and, 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 and just take that step of faith. Amen. Amen amen, 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 amen. Well, praise the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Praise you have the it. Lord. Oh, my God. I pray that this broadcast helped you. If you would like Brother Jesse to come out and minister, please contact us. And the number you can call is the office at 562-864-4474. Well, okay. All right. VLB, until next until time. Until next time. What are we going to say? Next time. You have been blessed as you listen to Lady VLB and Dr. Vicki Lee and kicking back with Christ in the basement Real Talk Radio broadcast. For more information on this or other shows, visit them at www.realtalkwithvlb.com. That's www.realtalkwithv as in victory, L as in Lord, and B as in believer.com. That's www. Real Talk with VLB.com. Take care and join them next week at the same time, same place. <laughs>